Hi guys, it's Wombat and this is Grand Utopia version 1.2.0 by my godness. It is a standalone map on a one-to-one -one scale and it is probably the best looking map you'll ever haul on. Because my godness is not a map creator, he is an artist. His map is a complete work of fiction, but at the same time it feels like France or something made by a French Renaissance painter. The picture he has been painting and is painting of this map is something of an entirely different world. It's just beautiful, all of it. And this map more or less has everything you could ask for. You have highways, huge highways with gigantic intersections. You have the tiniest gravel roads that is twisting and turning up and down the side of the mountain. And you have everything in between. And that is why, because we have to address this as well, that is why, as my way of celebrating this fantastic map, I'm hauling in a Renault. And not only this Renault, but I'm actually going to show you another Renault later on in this video. And the only reason I'm doing it is because my godness is French and I want to celebrate his work by honoring him and use a French truck. I don't care what you think about Renaults. I really don't. For this map, I'm gonna use a Renault for two actually. So we're gonna start by having a look at some overview pictures of the map and what makes it so beautiful. Then we're gonna have a look at how you set this up because you're gonna need a new profile if you don't already have a profile for Grand Utopia. And finally, of course, we need to have a look at what the map overview look like. So let's start this, shall we?
and since Grand Utopia requires its own profile, click the new profile, change your name to, I'm gonna go with Wombat Utopia in this case. You then add a picture, a preferred truck design, a company logo, and a company name. And then you go to the mod manager, you find Grand Utopia and add just that one mod, simple as that. Click confirm changes, change the playing module to Grand Utopia. I'm gonna uncheck my Steam Cloud profile before I click create, skip the wizard, let the game load for a little bit. And then you get to select your headquarters. So I'm just gonna go with the default and click confirm selection. Skip the tutorial and there you go. The game will load and you are free to start hauling on this beautiful map. That is obviously not what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna show you the map instead. This is what it looks like. This is the 14 cities and villages you currently have on Grand Utopia. And if we have a closer look, you'll see that you have highways like the A1 and A2, as well as twisty gravel roads like this one over here. And again, everything in between. Uh, this part here is the old part of the map, the one that were there the first time I visited this map. Uh, but the map has expanded, things have happened, and this part has been added. And I think that part as well as this one has been added. So there are plenty of new things to haul on on this map these days. I do not unfortunately know how many kilometers you have to haul on or can haul on on this map. But I'm gonna say instead you have a lot of hours of hauling to do before you have covered the entire map, that is for sure. And that is my short review of the Grand Utopia map. And if you're ever gonna download a one-to-one -one scale fictional map, this is the one you're gonna download, play on and have fun with. It is absolutely free of charge but on his web page, my godness, have a PayPal link. Click it and for 5 euros you get to name a village. For 10 euros you get to name a town on the map. So here's an opportunity for you to have a town or a village on a map, map, map <laughs> named whatever you want it to be named. Uh, go bananas uh, try to stay on on subjects though uh, that might be a good idea uh, anyway uh, that is what I had to say about this map except for a couple of additional things about it uh, if the map crashes for you or the game crashes for you while playing on this map make sure you uncheck the random road events in the game settings for now. Uh, my godness is fully aware of the issue. Uh, my game has, hasn't crashed and I haven't unchecked it, but I guess it's just a matter of time before that happens. So on this map, make sure you do not use uh, the, um, uh, the um, random road events. I guess the other thing I want to uh, mention is the um, map DLCs that are required for this map. Unfortunately, I can't find that information on my godness web page, uh, but my guess is that you need all the map DLCs except for Bal Baltics. But the other ones, you're gonna need them. And that's what I had to say about Grand Utopia today. I will probably do a live stream on this map at some point because this is a very exciting map indeed and I do enjoy it. So thank you very much for listening. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, 
please press the like button and if you haven't already done so click the subscribe button as well in any case i hope to see you again next time take care everyone bye bye